I think I started like really painting in high school, like my freshman year, because I'd been to like a really artsy middle school, so we like had to paint anyway, but like I really started to enjoy it in high school, and that was when I really started to focus a lot of time and energy on it, because um, I just felt like it was something that I was good at and I was interested in, but I'd never really committed to it, and then the more I put time and energy into it, the more rewarding it was. My artistic process usually involves looking at other people's work because I usually have a lot of ideas, but I don't necessarily know how to start to express them. And looking at other people's work is a good kind of outlet to kind of figure out what language I want to use to like communicate stuff. And then I just like sketch and I have like certain colors and forms and subjects that I notice I'll start to gravitate towards more. When you look at a painting, it has like a certain presence to it and you can see the way that it sits on the canvas and like, um, like really good art definitely has a very distinctive presence. And I think you can use that presence to influence people, like either the way that they see women or the way that they see like people of different races and different sexualities. Like it definitely has like a very tangible power to like convey things in a very powerful way that like words are like, music or other medium just like couldn't necessarily portray. I totally believe in mistakes in my art because like a lot of my best work has come from me messing up and then having to deal with that mistake or having something turn out like totally different from what I was planning but kind of realizing along the way that maybe my plan wasn't actually that great and like I just needed to like trust the process. Um, and then sometimes I make mistakes that I can't fix and I'll ruin a painting that way, but I usually look back at that as like a growing experience and I kind of realize from that like what I need to do to improve. I definitely find painting therapeutic for sure. Um, like I went to a really conservative high school where there was like a lot of sexism, but it wasn't obvious. It was just kind of like very insidious in the whole culture. Um, and I didn't really know how to cope with it because I didn't always like recognize it at time. But I think painting really feminist art has been so cathartic for me when I feel like um, a sense of injustice, especially like politically now, like I have a lot of like rage as does everyone about what's happening and I feel such a lack of control. Um, and I feel like painting is a good way to actually actively do something and express something. Um, even when I feel like it's not always an option to have your voice heard. But I'd also love to just keep painting in my free time and continue to say what I'm trying to say about women and um, how powerful femininity can be. Um, and hopefully as I get older, more people will look at my art and maybe people want to like put it in their galleries or in their homes and that way I can kind of spread um, the message that I want to spread.